Lineup changes for the Warriors versus Tulsa in Friday's Hawaii Bowl. Kainola Count at left tackle ahead of Boston Hanson. Brett Leonard at left guard in front of Bryson Ginlack. Changes confirmed this afternoon by UH head coach Greg McMackin. He also told KITV4 Sports freshman Billy Ray Stutzman will start at wideout ahead of Rodney Bradley. Stutz made 10 catches for 107 yards and one touchdown this season. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Sheraton Hawaii Bowl is just two days away. Warriors and Golden Hurricane have potent offenses. Both teams have quarterbacks in total command of their offenses. Tulsa plays up tempo with no huddle. Now, the way you've been getting INTs, eight this season, record 14 in your career, they're going to throw it. Are you licking your chops? Uh, you know, it's, it's been great because, uh, you know, the D-line's been getting creating great uh, blitzing, blitzing packages for us, and, you know, it just puts us in opportunities to make big plays. How do you stop no huddle besides punch somebody in the mouth? Punch him again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, punch him in the mouth, just a figure of speech. Corey Paredes, fifth in the nation, averaging 11 and a half tackles per game. Hawaii's 10 and 3, ranked 24th. Golden Hurricane, 9 and 3. Kickoff Christmas Eve is 3 in the afternoon. The Warrior football teams had a resurgence like no one anticipated they would this season. And in just two days, it will all culminate in the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl, where UH will look for its first bowl win since 2006. Ironically, that win came on Christmas Eve as well. But since then, Hawaii is 0 and 2. The Warriors can end that streak Friday when they host Tulsa, who has won its last two bowl game appearances by an average of 44 points. The Warriors say the idea of redeeming their image on national TV is also a driving force. The last time Hawaii was on ESPN was in a 45-7 loss to Boise State. Just reflecting on the last, the last way, but we didn't perform well. And throughout the season, you know, we didn't perform well underneath the national light. It's, it's prime time for us, you know, we don't get too much time on the on the national lights, so um, you know this will be a great opportunity for us to perform in front of the whole nation and show the world what we can do. Uh, this season was, was about uh, re-establishing our show, re-establishing ourselves as a team, and just coming a long way from that six to seven season last year, revenging all our losses and you know, doing a lot of a lot of great things, just leaving our our, um, our footprint on this program. For more on that Christmas Eve game, catch the encore episode of the Coach Mac Show special, Return to Glory. That's Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. only on KGMBM. That's your look at sports. All right. How's it going, everybody? Two days away from the 24th ranked Warrior football team's Sheraton Hawaii Bowl matchup with Tulsa. Head coach Greg McMackin announced that freshman Billy Ray Stutzman will get the start at left side receiver in place of Rodney Bradley. Now, Christmas Eve will mark as the St. Louis graduates second start of the season in 2010. Little brother of former U8 standout Craig Stutzman has recorded 10 catches for 107 yards and one touchdown. Warriors going after the school's fourth Hawaii Bowl championship, also looking to put what they call a perfect cap on a remarkable run. We're in the top 25, so that's where we want to stay, and coach really wants us to be there, so, so we're ready to go, um, especially since the great season that we're having. We don't want to end it on a bad note. Yeah, it's been a great season. Uh, I'd love to go out with the last win in the bowl game. I think it, it means a lot because uh, I've been here for the 08 and 06. Uh, I remember 06 when we won. It was awesome. So uh, I haven't won for a while. That'd be awesome. You know, all the fans, a good win at home for the Hawaii Bowl. Be, yeah, awesome. Other lineup changes on the left side as Kailua grad Kainua LeCount will start at tackle in place of Austin Hansen with Brett Leonard getting the nod at guard for Bulla Ginlock. A Hawaii victory on Christmas Eve would give UH 11 wins on the season for just the fourth time in school history. Warriors remain as 10-point favorites kickoff in Halaba set for three. We want the defensive keys to lie to them. You know, they think we're running the ball to the left and we're throwing it deep to the right. You know, we have a lot of stuff like that and, uh, you know, it's worked out so far for us. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. On the eve of the Christmas Eve Sheraton Hawaii Bowl, that's G.J. Kinney, Triggerman to the Golden Hurricane, no huddle offense. Tulsa Jr. was Conference USA Player of the Year, throwing for 3,307 yards and 28 touchdowns. Also led the team in rushing. I, I pride myself being a dual threat guy. So, you know, I, I get to pass the ball 40 times against Southern Miss, or I can get to run the ball 31 times against Houston. You know, I, I get to do a little bit of both. Uh, we don't have no band. We don't have no cheerleaders. We don't have anybody. It's it's uh, it's us, uh, everybody against us. I, I would encourage any I, I, anybody that wants to cheer for us, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take all of them now. Golden Hurricane will be a handful for the Warriors, who may defend the fifth best offense with the country with the eighth best offense in the country. Coach says, uh, 
And part of preparing for Tulsa, they run the no huddle. So part of the attack on their no huddle, Hawaii might run no huddle and offense themselves. Uh, it's a good thing that's, you know, more opportunities we're going to get the ball, uh, more times we get to score. Ninth Sheraton Hawaii Bulls tomorrow afternoon. 24th ranked Warriors 10 and 3 versus 9 and 3 Tulsa. Kickoff set for 3 o'clock. Opportunity knocking. Former Warriors All American Chad Owens, CFL Special Teams Player of the Year this season for the Toronto Argonauts, had a tryout with the New York Jets today. Went very well, he says, and four to five more teams have invited him in for workouts. Roosevelt alum had 27 1 all-purpose yards in Canada this season with seven touchdowns back in 2005. Owens was a six-round pick of the Jacksonville Jaguars, also had a stint with Tampa Bay. Welcome back. The Warrior football team will put everything on the line when they take the Aloha Stadium turf tomorrow in the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. But today, they put all that pressure aside as they visited some very special youngsters. Merry Christmas, bro. How you doing? Now the Warrior players and cheerleaders gathered at the Kapiolani Medical Center for Women and Children to provide some bedside cheer. Warrior receiver Kealoha Pilares, defensive backs Mana Silva, Spencer Smith, and Jeremy Bryant, and offensive lineman Laupepa Latuli signed autographs and posed for pictures. Patients say the opportunity to meet the players was a very special gift. I've never seen football players in person, so... Um, I, I, I think this is a really special moment to see all of these guys who've been playing so, so well. I have three of my own, and um, to be in the hospital on Christmas, Christmas Eve, you know, that's big for kids because, you know, kids, they really enjoy this season, the Christmas Santa Claus and all the things that go on, and it's just nice to brighten their day up. I think it's a blessing. Um, you know, God has give, blessed this, us football players with uh, so many abilities, you know, and just to see these kids and um, just to have the, the ability to put a smile on their face, you know, it means the world to us. And back to the game. The Warriors face Tulsa tomorrow. The Golden Hurricane may not be well known out here, but quarterback G.J. Kinney is no stranger to his opponents. The junior led Tulsa in both passing and rushing yards and accounted for 35 total touchdowns. As a result, the Golden Hurricane boasts the nation's 10th ranked offense at 39 points per game. The Warriors say Kinney is the most complete QB they've faced all season. Yeah, he's a dangerous quarterback. Um, he has a good arm. He has like a Kaepernick type arm. So I mean, he could throw the ball in there, and and if they if they're not open, he'll run it. And he, he's he's a pretty good athlete on the ground. So I mean, we just gotta stop him. He takes a lot of shots uh, uh, far down the field, and uh, that's one of the things he does. You know, he keeps his eyes uh, up on the field uh, when he's when he's pressured, and uh, you know, he's always looking for that long ball. How's it going, everybody? Tomorrow afternoon in Halaba, 24th ranked Warrior football team will face off with Tulsa in the 9th annual Sheraton Hawaii Bowl as the WAC code champs enter the game 10 and 3, looking to become just the fourth team in program history to earn 11 wins in a single season. Golden Hurricane are 9 and 3, riding a six game win streak. Matchup will mark as the final collegiate outing for 28 Warrior seniors, including the dynamic slot back tandem of Greg Salas and Kealoha Polaris. Pass catching pairs combined for one. 194 receptions, 2,981 yards, and 27 touchdowns in 2010. Both fan favorites are anxious heading into what will be their final game as Warriors. Definitely um, a lot of mixed emotions. You know, it's going to be a little bittersweet, but um, having the last game here in Hawaii is, is, is big to me uh, personally. Uh, this place has really shaped me and, and helped me become a mature man. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll never forget the people and pe uh, that I've met here and have been packed in my life. So it's definitely going to be great just to go out with um, with another game here in Hawaii. It's going to be a bittersweet time. Um, you know, I had a great uh, a lot of memories in that uh, stadium, but you know, this is going to be the last game. So um, I just think that we all have to just come out, you know, and just play our game, and uh, I think just make it. Um, something to remember and uh, you know we just got to go out there take uh, take care of business everything will be fine
Bowl Games Executive Director Dave Matlin says 42,000 tickets have been sold. Warriors remain as 10-point favorites in the game. Kickoff set for 3 o'clock at Aloha Stadium. Now, great news for 2004 Hawaii Bowl MVP, former Warrior All-American Chad Owens. Mighty Mouse had a tryout with the New York Jets today in New Jersey. CO says he feels very positive about his performance, which was the first of four scheduled NFL workouts for the Roosevelt graduate over the next month. Owens is coming off of an all-star season with the Toronto Argonauts, in which he was named Canadian Football League Special Teams Player of the Year. Free agent expects to sign a contract, whether it be the NFL or CFL, sometime in January.